of gruelling terrain over the infamous Brecon Beacons is required to be marched in any weather condition. For over 60 years, this has remained a formidable challenge, a challenge that me and Mitch carelessly signed ourselves up for 30 minutes after we found out it existed. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I feel like another ne I need another nervous wig. So this is the infamous start point. Usually they'll have like teams of, I don't know, like 16 and they'll all be there with the Bergens on, ready to hit the trail up there. And it's just us two <laughs> with a lot less weight, but I'm still bricking it just as much. Just for context, I think the furthest me and Martha have ever run is six kilometers. Yeah. So. 20, 22, 24, I still don't even have any idea how much it's going to be. It's a, a bit of a difference. You ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to be knackered in two seconds. I feel sick. <laughs> As you can probably guess, this pace did not last for very long. We were going to need to stretch out our energy if we had any chance of completing this challenge. The route we're following is the one shown here and what makes this challenge so tough is of course the length and elevation of the trail but mainly the steep climbs and descents at the start and at the end of the course. Me and Martha are like finding this hard already and all I can think is I can't imagine doing this with a bloody drill instructor behind you hounding you if you want to stop for five seconds. Like, to me that is absolutely insane to go through all that burn and just have to keep pushing and pushing. We're gonna try our hardest today, but if we do it in a semi-decent time, I'll be very, very, very happy for us. This is the start of the big incline up to the base of, oh no Marv, what's it called? No, okay. it what is it? Karandu. Karandu. I think that's how you say it. Our old friend will tell us off. So we're not always showing you the nice running shots. I'll show you the reality. We are sp trying to speed walk all of this now. It's way too steep to try and run it. It feels like you're running at a squat. It's an absolute gruller. Oh, and it's not even the worst part. Oh my God. I need to stop sweating so much. It's not good for lasting a long time. I need to get to the top of here. That's where we've come from over there. And that's where we're going. What the? Mitch is struggling. What did I say on that last video? About you being fitter on your legs and me being fitter on a bike. And then I was thinking to myself, is that actually true? And now I believe it, <laughs> very much so. This is brutal, it is brutal. And we're only 10% of the way. We just hit over the <laughs> two kilometer mark.
completely in the clouds. Oh, oh look, we're this way, Mom. This way. <laughs> As we say goodbye to Penavan behind us, we now start the descent down. Look at that! of what I prefer if it's going uphill or down because down this is not making it easy you're really having to watch every step there's some starting to loose oh, I can't even imagine doing this with like 45 pounds worth of weight on your back and that pushing you down as well and I've just really got to be careful because I've suffered with a knee injury before and going downhill really triggers it Mitch is really far in front. I'm going to fall behind. We're officially quarter of the way through the whole of the thing. I thought this downhill bit was going to be a bit of a break, which it sort of is. Like cardio wise, it's a lot easier. But hobbling over these stones tell you what, it takes a toll on your legs. Oh, it's going to be interesting coming back up this. I'm really struggling. Um, I've had a previous knee injury that hasn't cropped up in a long time, but something's triggered it. I don't know if it's just not being that stable on my feet coming down there and my legs just because of how rocky it was it's just sort of started twinging it we're only at the 6k mark but we've we've come down from that and then now it looks like we've got a nice 5k to the halfway mark which is pretty pretty straight so i'm just going to try and stay bouncy on my feet and try and not aggravate it anymore and hopefully i can get through it you feel that anyway? Yeah. Hi, is everything okay? Yeah, all yeah. good, mate. Sure, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah sound. Good man. <laughs> Are you actually thumbs up though? I see. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't want to give up. But you're just going to injure yourself. Like, we're a third of the way in. There's no point in getting upset about it. I know, it's just painful and I can't. I've done nothing. Wait, well, it's not like it's down to you though that's actually done it, it's your injury that's given up. You ain't gonna be able to do the rest of this, Marv. The hook's swollen. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to do it. Carry on. Are we gonna have to, do you wanna walk it? Because there's you, no point in you getting more injured for a YouTube yeah, video. I want you to do it in a good time. I'm going to slow everyone down. No, it's fine. God, we'll just try and drive hard. No, because Marf, it ain't worth it. I'm really beating myself up. Like, we're a third of the way in. And my knee is just throbbing. I don't know what I've done to it. I'm trying not to get upset. I just really wanted to do it. Because I feel fine. And I was looking forward to this bit of the running. I really don't want to do anything that's gonna like make anything worse. I could walk it, but I mean I've got another 16 kilometers to walk and how long it take to walk it? Yeah. You'd be out here for like five hours. I know. I'd just love to be able to do it. Oh, it's so stupid. I shouldn't be getting upset. that bad. 
Yeah, you are not turning up that and going to the way. Do you need to hand that on? Give me that. You sure you don't need help with the arm off? Yeah, yeah, let me have some weight. Ooh. It's like the whole, like the muscle behind my knee, like, it's just not working anymore and it feels like it's going to lock out. Yep. So I think we've got a bit of a plan. We've met a nice guy who we saw on the way up and Mitch has asked him about where he's parked and if he didn't mind giving us a lift back to our van however me and Mitch have both decided that he's going to carry on because I don't want him to miss out we both equally wanted to do it just as much so I'm going to go with this guy he's going to drop me off at our van and then Mitch will carry on Don't know how I feel about leaving Martha with a random bloke. Seems a nice guy. Shall I get his reg just in case? Right then. I hope to God she gets back okay. I've told her to text me when she gets there. But we're currently on 11.3k. And it did actually only take us two hours 34 to get down here, which I'm very, very surprised with because if we'd have done it under five hours, I'd have been really happy. So now my aim now is to get back before the five hour mark. I've got two hours 25 to do it. So uh, it's gonna be a push because my legs feel absolutely knackered, but now at least I've got a time to work towards and go for that. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I've got 10 kilometers left. I tell you what, this is hard work just going up this slow decline. If I make it this whole way without collapsing, I'll be very impressed. Because right now, my calves feel like someone's got them in a vice and they're just slowly tightening it up. This is the most typical British thing to talk about but on the forecast around now it was meant to be throwing it down with rain for the next two or three hours it's absolutely glorious I could not be any more wet than I am now I'm back blowing again I'm only two kilometers in this is hard work I'm trying to slowly slip the sip down this water because we came across the stream when Martha was hobbling down the hill blesser. And I'm gonna fill this back up there just in case I need it for sort of reserve. Oh, Jesus Christ. How long until that does me head? Sorry Martha. Oh my God, I generally don't think I'm gonna make this. It's so hard, <laughs> sake. That was for the intro. <laughs> Come on, you gotta do this. Come on, sheepies. Cheer me along, mate, go on. These guys live out here all day, all year, all day, until they're taken in and killed. Poor guys. I'm just out here. And a leisurely stroll. No excuses. Oh, there's a group of lads up here. I've got a jog past them, so I don't look like a little bitch. Just at mile 15, not mile, bloody hell. I wish it was mile 15. Kilometre 15, penny vans getting ever so much closer, just nowhere near close enough. All in all, I'm still about as knackered as I was half an hour ago. So I'm just gonna have to keep grinding it out. I've just got a bit of signal back. Bloody 
the people that we're traveling with messaging me asking where we are. So now I'm stressing Martha's not got back. Friggin' heck five. See if I can call her. Fucking hell, Mark, come on. I'm gonna have to keep running to get signal. I don't like this one bit. If something's happened to her, how the hell would you ever live that out? Hi. Hiya, are you back? Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Oh man, you had me stressing. No, it's so worrying. I just got back. Oh, okay, good. Was it a long drive then? It's about 20 odd minutes or so. He's still there, he's just looking for a parcel, but I'm just in there now. Oh, thank God. I saw, I saw there's two messages asking where we were, and that was only like 10 minutes ago, so I was bloody stressing like mad. No, don't worry. Have you had any rain? No, it's, it's lovely up here. Oh, if we just had a massive storm as we were coming through. Oh, it doesn't look like it's coming. I'm, I'm okay. sunbathing. Good, okay, we'll enjoy it, yeah, I'm fine, don't worry. Okay, yeah, keep going. Yeah, alright. Alright, love you. See you in a minute, love you too, bye. Oh, worry over. That was horrible. Right, need to keep pushing. I'm just at the turning point now. We're in the background. I think that's called, called Fanny Big. Oh, I can't even talk. Right, I'm back. Oh yeah. So now, I'd, I have no idea. I think this is Jacob's ladder or something. Martha did all the research. And apparently this is the most gruelling part. So, wish me luck. Oh, I'm flagging. I think I've just hit the halfway point as well. My watch is showing 16.6 kilometers. Three hours, 25 minutes. So, if I keep this pace going, I'll be very happy. But the legs are starting to feel like jelly. And now it's just started raining, which I'm not actually that bothered about because it's cooling me down. But hopefully it passes soon. That does not look like a lot of fun. Looks like some military lads up there now. Oh, I wonder what they're up to. Honestly, if you do this for your country, hats off to you. This is hard, hard work. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is Jacob's ladder, not what I was on before, because I remember Martha saying something about how there's a false peak halfway up, and that's what I'm coming to now. So, I don't think I'm halfway up. I think I'm nowhere near. And if you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I'm absolutely bollocks. Now I just started pissing down. Oh man, I might have to put my waterproof jacket on. just about to get to the top of Penny Van, but I could not be any more wet than I am now. This is gonna make getting down interesting with the wet stones. If I don't end up on my arse by the end of this, oh my God, it'll be a miracle. The rain's let off a little bit. I'm honestly just letting my body carry me down this hill at this point. I generally can't feel my legs. If this isn't a time to give our channel a like and a subscribe, I don't know when is. We're gonna be doing so much more stuff like this in the future. Once Marth is fixed up, we're gonna be back out there. It's honestly so much fun, it's so rewarding. Oh man, this is dangerous. I need to be careful on these cobbles. I genuinely, my legs have got nothing left in them at all. I could be on my arse any second. I'm honestly devastated. I've just looked down at my watch to see how I was doing on time and it's been bloody paused since three hours 55. Oh, for God's sake. 
No, I'm not going to know how long it took me to get back. I suppose the only time I'm going to know is from the time when I left Martha to what Yeah, I'll have to do that. That is a nightmare. I've been pushing loads down this hill as well to make a good time. Oh dear. That geezer in the orange has just come past me, genuinely, four times the pace that I'm going. I've been well and truly humbled. Oh my god. I'm finally down. That was absolutely evil. My legs. I, I don't even know if my legs exist anymore, to be honest. All I've got left now is a fairly level trail back to the van around the main road. And I'm there. I can see the van in the distance. Question is, do I try and jog at the end and finish strong? It's just like raining again. I think I'm going to go for it. Oh man, my legs can't get any more ruined to be honest. Oh my god. I am so glad to be back. My calves, they're like doing this. Well done. Oh, Fair play. <sighs> Fair play. Mate. Honestly, I'm ruined. <laughs> yeah, you're alright, come in. Hello vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been on a walk today. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got his monster. 18,000 steps I've done if anyone's interested. <laughs> How many have you done, Mitch? 33,000. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, Mitch. Well done. Well, I'd like to say that was a walk in the park, but it's been nearly a week since it happened and my legs are still in bits. So if anyone's done that in the past, fair play. I'm almost 100% sure that I couldn't have done that with the weight on my back, but you never know, we might try this again in the future. I really hope that you like this type of video. It's been so much fun editing it. I really want to do more stuff like this in the future. So if you have enjoyed it, please give us a subscribe and a like. So hopefully you catch us in the next one. Bosh.